Hi guys, welcome to my video. Now, what I'm going to show you is how to soft the disk two of Corona Cross or any other multi disk backup. Now, what I have here is a Corona Cross disk one, disk two. Plus, you need any original backup, or sorry, any original PlayStation One game. And on the PlayStation One, make sure that you have a, you have the sensors blocked, so that you can so the PlayStation can read um PlayStation One backups. Now, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to load up Corner Cross. That again. <clears throat> and I just reset it again. User. This process is very easy. Wait a second. Now what I'm going to do is, <coughs> I'm going to go to my save file, just before we have to change it just to corner cross. Sorry about the bad quality of the TV, but um, the grand. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to Dead Sea Rooms, which is where, you, where, it's, where it comes to the end of disc one. Now, I'm sorry, I know it's probably a bit bad, but I'll try and fix that if I can. Now, As you can see, it now asks me to insert this two of corner cross. Now, at this stage, what you need to do is, first of all, stop the distance spinning. That's number one. Take out your backup. Put in an original PlayStation 1 game. Now, it's for a bit of a test. This is what comes up, first of all, on the screen. This is the wrong disk. No. That's not a bad thing, because it tells that it's working. 
So, all I have to do is load up the original PlayStation 1 game again, just like this. Now, I have to do that. And just to show that it's this too. See, basically, all you have to do is once it asks you to change this to a corner cross, what you have to do is basically you just stop the distance screen and so and all you gotta do is put in any original PlayStation 1 backup doesn't matter which one or uh, sorry it's any, or, any original PlayStation 1 game and what you have to do is you have to leave it press the make sure the disc is spinning again loading up the disc and what you have to do is leave it up your original place that you want uh, just, just um, basically all you have to do is make sure all the sensors are covered, make sure that the disc, make sure that the place that you want leaves the disc, and also you can just take it off straight away like that. Make sure, make sure that you only leave the disc in, leave, make sure it's only spinning for maybe one or two seconds, then swap over to this two corner across. And it should continue on the game view. Basically, what it's doing is it's reading the code of the original PlayStation One game to make it think that it's the original game. To make it think that it's the same game that's in it. It's basically just reading the code, you see. So that's what it's doing. Really, it's just it's reading the code of the original PlayStation One game. And when you swap over to the backup then of this two PlayStation 1 still thinks it's the same the original inside. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment on my video. Thank you. I'll talk to you again.